We all want more freedom, and a lot of us work hard now in the hope we'll feel free later. What if there was another way? A way to feel happier, more free, and confident to get better results right now. Welcome to Your Freedom Unlimited, where we share practical stories and strategies to help you show up authentically, drop your fears, and take inspired action on what matters most to you. I'm your host, Jen Ramsey. As a coach with a love for metaphysics, science, spirituality, and strategies that get results, I'll help you step away from self-doubt and create a powerful new story for your life, business, or career. Join me. Hi everyone, today I want to talk about trust. How much do you trust yourself and how much do you trust the world around you? This is the focus of my episode this week on Your Freedom Unlimited. My name is Jen Ramsey and I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me. So today we're going to be talking about another incredible master frequency. I know every week when I'm presenting each of these master frequencies that have revolution, revolutionized my life, I say how amazing each one is. But the truth is, is that each frequency has its own vibration and it does create incredible change. And today's frequency is exactly the same. It's the master frequency of trust. So when I'm talking about trust, what am I talking about specifically? Well, I'd like to take you on a journey of looking at trust at three different levels. Firstly, looking at trust that we are supported by the universe. So trusting we are supported by the universe or consciousness. Secondly, trusting that everything is working out for us even when perhaps it doesn't look like that it is. And finally, trust in ourselves to do what is right because of our connection with our inner selves. So when I'm talking about trust, it could be right now that I could be testing your worldview. I might be flipping your worldview of how you might have lived your life until now. What do I mean? Well, so many of us have been conditioned by the media and generally what's going on in society to believe that the world is a tough place. The news delivered into our homes every night tells us that things are bad and the future looks bleak and that we should try and stay safe and manage our fear by controlling everything. So what I am proposing to you today is to really take on board this idea of trust and to use it to flip everything on its head and look at the world from a completely different perspective. Why? Well, firstly, because I think our current way of thinking is not getting us anywhere. Our society is not getting any happier. The statistics around anxiety and depression are climbing. They're not reducing. Something is not right here and we need to do something about it. Secondly, quantum physics tells us that the observer affects the observed. So that means what we focus on is what we get. So if we are continually being fed these images and information by the media and on social media, we're going to continue to form that quite fearful view of the world. And finally, I have really seen how my own life has changed when I changed my world, world view and I started to trust. My old focus on safety and control had kept me very, very small. And no matter how hard I tried to control my world and tried to manage how I was being and what I was saying and doing with people, I was still living in a lot of fear and it wasn't fun. That's when I really realized how much anxiety I was experiencing in my life. So in the last couple of years, I seriously decided to try on this idea of trust. And I started with this first big one, that we are supported to trust that we are supported by the universe or consciousness. Now I've shared this story before on the podcast, but to recap, I just wanted to share with you briefly this story. So I was washing my dishes late one night, listening to a podcast where yet one more channel was sharing this idea of universal love and support. It was a really beautiful night. It was actually, when you know, in that quiet evening time, everyone else in my household had gone to do their things for the evening. And it was just a quiet, quite a sacred time, actually, just 
calmly being in my kitchen just tidying it up and getting ready for the next day and I listened to this channel and I remember at the in the moment I remember that up until that moment I'd been very very skeptical and I hadn't really believed it and when I heard this person say this yet one more time I was like really here's someone else saying this one more time but something happened in me that night it was like I just surrendered I let go and I just made the decision that I was going to give this idea a good shot. Well, that one decision was profound. And I would say that it really changed the course of my life. It was like this domino effect that led to so many beautiful changes. Just that night, I was led to a book. I was led to Marianne Williamson's A Return to Love. And I was led to so many other books and teachers and I also dove into my yoga much more deeply. And all of this, all of these beautiful little stepping stones led me to today where I'm living a much more authentic and a much happier life, doing exactly what I love. I'm coaching, I'm running workshops, and I'm sharing with you on this podcast. All of this from my decision to try on this idea that I am supported by the universe. It really was amazing. So very closely aligned to trusting that we are supported by the universe or consciousness is the next piece of trust, next piece of the trust puzzle. And that is to trust that everything is working out for us. And this is really, this is where it gets really interesting. This is where we get to work with trust on a daily and I would say to you a moment by moment basis. And this is powerful. And I have to say, I realized just how powerful when a few months ago, a very dear friend of mine told me how she got over a very serious depressive episode by living this concept daily in her life. She just worked with the mantra that everything is working out for me. And anytime she was feeling bad, she'd just flick her mind back to that mantra. And it was amazing. It pulled her out of a very, very severe episode. So let's look really more deeply at how this works in a practical sense. And for me, it means integrating and living the idea of trust in our daily lives. So an example of this is last week, I had to have a difficult conversation with a colleague about how we were approaching a project. We are really close and this was probably the first time in all of our years of working together that we had ever had a difference of opinion. But I knew I had to have that conversation. So with my mantra of everything is always working out for me and for us in the situation, I decided to have the conversation. So what, what happened? Well, what was important was the mindset that I took into the conversation. By trusting that everything is always working out for me and us, it meant I set the intention that it was going to work out for both of us, that we were going to both come out on the other side and that it was going to be okay. By doing that, I also entered the conversation with far less fear and a lot more confidence. And I was much more open to what I was going to hear from her. It was like I was able to really open my ears and really listen. The good news is, is that we were able to resolve that situation. Why? Well, I think because I trusted that we would and because I was in this trusting state, because I'd let go of fear, it meant that there was far less resistance and static in my energy field. I was far less concerned about what she might think and I had this level of calmness and confidence that I took into the conversation. And I have to say that was really, really powerful. It was what, I, what it really highlighted to me is that fear and trust they just cannot exist in the same place energetically. Trust automatically knocks that fear right out of, the, out of the ring. And this is what I found is that when we are using these frequencies well, when we're working them with, the, with them well in our lives, amazing things can happen. A little bit more of an advanced extension of this concept that I often work with my clients on is trusting that things are working out for us even if we're not getting that outcome that we really, really want in the moment. This is about calling in trust with a capital T and it is based on the belief that we ultimately are the creators of our realities. This means what I'm saying here is that 
If I believe I'm the creator of my reality, it means that anything that's happening in my life is for me. So even if I'm not getting that outcome that I want, then there is something in it for me. There's a learning, there's an expansion, there's a lesson that's going to help me expand and grow. So what this is all about is about when, you know, if a tough time happens, it's about helicoptering up above everything and understanding from that bigger picture that everything is working out for us and that there is a lesson and a teaching for us in every single situation. And while we may certainly not be feeling it in the moment, we may not see it in the moment, it will become clear to us in future weeks or months or maybe years. And when I look back at my first marriage, I can see now that even though the breakup at the time was very bad, it was a dreadful time for both of us, there have been also enormous benefits for both of us. Looking back, I can see how it really was perfect for my development and my growth and also that of my former husband. So the final part of this master frequency of trust is to really step into trust in ourselves. And this is because of our connection to source. I'm not sure about you, but I have spent quite a bit of my time in my life not trusting myself and second guessing my decisions and having doubt about what I was doing or what I'm about to do. So a very practical and very recent example of me leaning into trust for myself was my maiden voyage in teaching my very first yoga class. So my yoga journey has, and it continues to be me, it continues to be for me a very amazing journey. Since I started yoga 17 years ago, I have always dreamt of teaching a class in the hope that I could share the joy that I've found in yoga with other people. So this year I'm doing my teacher training and I have loved it, but I've also learnt there is a lot that goes into creating a great class. There's so much to think about, everything from breath work and postures and properly aligning postures through to finding the words to instruct a class that people will really enjoy and love. So last weekend it was the time to teach my first class in my teacher training. And in preparation for that, I thought it would be a good idea to teach a class to a couple of my family members. I thought I would just try out my whole um, process with them first. But boy, I was so nervous even teaching that class to my family members. But I soon realized that my nerves, how I was feeling, were, was really, really toxic. I had really stepped into fear. And what I realized was, that if I was going to teach a class that others might enjoy, I needed to completely let go of that fear and I needed to trust that I have been doing yoga for a very long time and that my very deep love of yoga as a spiritual practice would shine through. I just needed to trust that everything was going to work out in this first class, even if I didn't get every posture or sequence exactly right. I just needed to trust myself that if I held the right intention, and if I allowed that essence of my love for yoga to come through, then I'd lead a class that others would enjoy. So this to me was a great example of making a decision to use this frequency of trust very practically in my life. I needed to trust myself and that things would work out. And that's easier to do when you're being authentic and coming from your heart. So I ran the class. Did I get every single posture right? Did I get the order and every instruction correct? No, but my nephew who has done many classes said he felt that it was of a standard that he'd experienced elsewhere. And he also said something else really beautiful. He said that he felt supported during the class. So this was a great example of me leaving my fear at the door and fully stepping into trust and to trust for myself and that everything was going to work out okay. So if you're finding this concept of trust a little hard to wrap your arms around right now, perhaps just consider where you are trusting things in your life right now. As I'm recording this podcast, the sun is going down. So do you trust that the sun is going to come up and go down every day in your life? Do you trust the moon in its cycle of waxing and waning? And do you trust that you'll have some air to breathe in your next breath? 
I'm hoping you are and you, while you may not even know it, you are practicing trust. So all you need to do now is to think about how you can extend that trust into other areas of your life. Trust is a really powerful master frequency and when you lean into it every day and use it every day in every situation and when you approach your life from this perspective, you will be amazed at what is possible. So this week, I'd love to hand this master frequency over to you. How could you work with tapping into this master frequency in your own life? How can you flip the lid on fear and maybe look at things a little differently through this lens of trust? I would really encourage you to give this a go because I'm not sure about you, but I have certainly found that that old way of approaching my life that approach of being fearful and worried about what was going on was really not getting me anywhere. In fact, I was going backward pretty quickly. I felt it was time for a new way to approach my life and to give something like this a go. And I'm so glad that I did. So over to you and for you to make this decision it, because it really does come down to you to make a decision that you are going to trust, trust. Before we close this week, I also wanted to announce the winner of our competition to rate and review Your Freedom Unlimited. I'm so pleased to announce that Ishka from Australia is the winner of our August competition. Thank you so much, Ishka, for your beautiful review. But the good news is there is one prize left. So if you're listening in September 2020, please subscribe and rate and review Your Freedom Unlimited on Apple, on Apple Podcasts for your chance to win a 90 minute private coaching session with me. These sessions are valued at $250 and they will definitely give you a breakthrough in terms of any way that you'd like to find a breakthrough in your life. To enter that competition, all you need to do is visit jenramsey.com forward slash win. So thank you once again for listening to this week's episode and for sharing your precious time with me. Until we connect again, I'm sending you lots of love and wishing you great care. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Your Freedom Unlimited. If you like this show, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, subscribe, rate and review Your Freedom Unlimited on your favorite podcast player. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can reach me directly at jenramsey.com. Thanks for listening.